Sir, I beg to move. That this parliament calls upon the government to take urgent and concrete action to address the widespread anxiety among Singaporeans on jobs and livelihood caused by the foreign talent policy and the provisions on movement of natural persons in some free trade agreements like the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement. Mr. Speaker, sir, it is a shame that this government has persistently tried to link the public discourse on SECA to racism. I hereby state categorically that PSP is against linking the public discourse on SECA to racism. It is confusing Singaporean and even dividing Singaporean. All the Singaporeans want to know is why jobs and livelihood situation for many Singaporeans has worsened over the last 20 years. Give me the data. Give me the answers. Singaporeans are crying out. And PSP is responding to their calls when we accepted the invitation from the law minister to do this debate. The Singapore-India Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement, or SECA, is not a race issue, but a trade agreement issue. The FTAs and SECA are part of the equation when we evaluate the cost and benefits of past and present immigration and employment policies. So they have to be part of this debate. As of today, the information disclosed by the government is not convincing enough to prove that SECA has not affected Singapore's ability to manage immigration and that it has generated net benefits for Singapore. As a result, the PSP is strongly against the government from shutting off further discussion on the matter. But we agree that SECA is not the main issue today. Mr. Speaker, sir, our motion today is about jobs and livelihood of Singaporeans, not xenophobia or racism nor is it directed at any nationality or race. In order to achieve greater economic success, Singapore always needs the right foreign talent to complement our Singaporean core. We agree to that. The PSP is pro-Singaporean and welcome foreigner to work with Singaporeans for mutual benefit. Let me be clear, the PSP is pro-free trade, but not free for all trade. Free trade must benefit all our people and not just some people. We want the benefits of free trade to be shared equitably with foreigners here and among all Singaporeans. However, when there's an imbalance of interest, we will need to redress the situation. In seeking to rebalance our foreign talent policy, we are, advocate, we are not advocating a closed Singapore, nor blaming the foreigners. After all, we are responsible for our own policy.